is beautiful, isn't she? But look very closely at her head and you can see deep and underneath all that gorgeous fur, all of the quills underneath there. And she's got a, a really gorgeous coat. I, I put this program together today because most people in Connecticut don't even realize that porcupines are a native of our state. Uh, and they are. Um, it's just that they live in the upper tier of Connecticut. So people that are living in Fairfield no, County and there, uh, so New Haven County are never going to see them as far south. And that's why a lot of people, a few people from that area yeah, today is, had never like seen one before. But even people that live up here, it's an animal that you rarely get to see. And when you do, it's usually dead at the side of the road. Um, so with my permits uh, from the USDA and from the Connecticut DEP, um, that I'm allowed to keep these animals and actually present a live one to the public is really important. The fisher grabs them, they grab them by the nose and that's enough to flip them them over and they attack them from their underside. But I think what's also important is that because it's an animal you don't get to see very often, you get this up close and personal um, look at one and uh, you know in a safe environment which is important with uh, wildlife presentation. Well, they only give birth to one so they don't give birth to litters like other rodents, just one baby once a year and that little porcupine stays with its mom for about six months. And their lifespan can be about 20 years. Uh, but also, you know, so many people say, you know, what, well, humans think that everything on this planet is here to serve them. You know, with my bat programs, it's just, you know, I give you the laundry list of what bats do that are positive for this, for this planet and for us personally. But with a porcupine, there isn't a darn thing that I can tell you that it does for you. December. They're the only North American yeah. uh, animal um, native to North America with antibiotics in their skin. Uh, their antibiotics prevent them from getting sick when they fall and quill themselves. And again, it happens a lot. So what a cool evolutionary tactic uh, that, you know, somebody thought had the presence of mind to say, well, you're going to be really clumsy when you climb and you're going to fall and quill yourself, so let's make it so you don't get sick. The point of the matter is this is an incredible creature, a very unique creature with amazing adaptations as an herbivore, incredible adaptations that um, deserves to be here just as you do. Dance. Oh, you're welcome very much. Yeah, did you remember? No? Not yet, maybe. So does this fulfill everybody's um, <laughs> fantasy of ever meeting one up close and personal? Uh, she's a beauty, too. She's got such a gorgeous coat, and she's in really good weight, too. She's, she has a very robust appetite. <laughs> Do you think she's cute? Yeah, I think she is, too. 